Hello, welcome back to Took's Craft Table. Uh, today, I hope that we can get this done for today, um, the last steps. And um, <laughs> this is my messy basket for the clip. Um, when yesterday we finished at these, we done this page and uh, today we will attach I might I think I might need something here I might have a brooch or something um, to keep it down otherwise it will keep flipping um, so before we do anything I'll show you um, I spray to coat outside and this is what I'm going to use for the front um, oh, let's pop off but I also cut out um, this uh, end paper and I add the pocket here I decide to go with the paper pocket because we already have a bunch of uh, cloth there so I don't want to overwhelm with fabric so this is just um, the full size of the letter letter size uh, paper and uh, I have a little bit left so I cut a strip this is um, basically is exactly the same size as the cover or you can um, measure if you make one you, you could just measure it uh, from from your finished cover and that would be the inside cover okay let's assemble um, and then I have what um, uh, I decide to use these for some a uh, thinner um, thinner one I like it better maybe down here um, try to center it What I do, I use um, glossy accents. <laughs> Mine is like really bad shape because I have it for a long time. Not a lot, just a little bit. Balling again. Okay, and then we need a pokey tool. I bought these from eBay. I bought the, a lot of them. I bought they were like 16 for two dollars or something on eBay. And it will come with screw, but I don't use their screw. them with um, these brads uh, from Tim Holtz. It's really tiny um, brads and then in, in on the head it looked like a screwdriver head. And again use glossy accent. Just a little drop. my book plate I 
careful. Oh no, I think it's crooked. <laughs> See, the queens of eyeballing. Okay, I'm gonna fasten this side first so it won't move much. Okay, I think it's secure. And uh, I've made a template, this file. Um, I don't know how to share with, with everyone. Um, I mean, I can share it in my um, Journal Canada group, no problem. But uh, I'll find a way to share this file with you. Um, I made it to fit in this small um, uh, plate. So, okay, now th this is done. The next steps is to attach the signature. We will do the middle part first. Um, I'm using the fabric glue it's nice and strong if you want to add the lace here um, this is the time to add right here or you know what I have cheesecloth right here I can add a little bit Make sure I have the Well, the glue still wet. <laughs> okay, I think I think it's all right. This is really need something. Have a nice pin. Oh, I can add a button or oh, Velcro. I don't like Velcro. I like um nice brooch. Maybe I have a really nice hat pin. I'll use the hat pin here. So what I want to do is this piece of paper. So my mine it's ended up perfectly one and a half inches. So um, it, this part you might have to um, just measure once you've done this this step like sewing in so you 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 need to uh, measure 
the finish the signature for you so to see what the width is like So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna measure where we can poke the hole. Oops. No, honey. I'm not po poking the hole now in a bit, okay? Don't need to be upset. He doesn't like it when I bang something like loud so four and a quarter is the half of eight and a half so I'm gonna mark it here but this is five centimeters so that would be the middle hole I am preparing the closure uh, using elastic as a closure and then <laughs> I have some charms and this is my favorite charms oh, where's the other one I have a fountain pen, which is not here anymore. <laughs> Here's the fountain pen that it will be included here, and then a rooster and a clock rooster. It's my birth year, so that would go in here as a closure. Um, so I need to. erase that mark and now I need to make measure three hole here so usually I would come up from the bottom about one centimeter so the boat there this is the first time you see me measure <laughs> so we need three of three holes so uh, two Two and a half would be the middle hole. I'll do the middle hole first and then maybe one centimeter apart. Okay. So there are three hole here, three hole here, and we'll do the same for the top. middle 
and one centimeter from the center out. There we've got three holes for our eyelid. I use the I don't have brown or black so I have these so I'm gonna pull I'm gonna cut it in the middle and the edge I can use the crocodile the big hole one so okay I'll be right back Okay, we got our attach for elastic done and I'm gonna poke the middle hole and the troublemaker is here. Ah let me use the wrong one. Oh well, I have to use the big, big eyelet. Ah, mommy need to pay attention. I didn't have the proper tools, so also I used the wrong eyelet, but it's okay. So I'm going to reinforce here with um, these reinforcer I hope it would help maybe use two Okay, this is a mistake um, that I need to be very careful because I didn't have the right um, eyelid to do it. So we will do the oh, the closure first. Oops. Not quite dry took. Be patient. I use this ring to help to stop um, it go through the hole. Whoops. Let's see. I think it worked, but not quite what I have in mind. meant 
to have um, another oh, I'm thinking <laughs> I also have the corner um, that I want to put on I have these that fall off where is my coin? my happy coin it's a happy I want to put that here too so I'm gonna need another chain here we go the closure say happy the fountain pen and rooster my year and then the time and uh, let's do the elastic for here first I bought these from Amazon like so much and they were like $15 or something for the whole thing I need to fix these. I think I'll go in like that and go up and then go down, go up. I think I may need to do something and then you come back the same hole okay and then you need to use this one okay I'll cut around here so I don't really know how to measure it but um, you could just use the, um, your um, once you you do it and then you will you will know how to where did it go okay and then you come up here so both end will end up in the middle you meet up in the middle so I think I have too much on because it's not quite um, tight still a lot of you want it really tight and then you tie it what do you call it um, <laughs> I know it's a neat thing and <laughs> when you tie it and need the Knitting. Okay, from here I'll check. It's pretty good. So I'll cut it off. And I will seal and to, to make it unfree. Like for the closure I think I'm gonna leave the strength that way and then um, just in case the book get thicker and it's not too much pressure okay So outside this is what it will look like you go in out and out and then like this and you have you can have it on the side 
you can have it all in the front. That is totally up to you. And um, I'm going to do a corner, book corner, using glossy accent to glue, to attach it. Well, we did it. We did it. And uh, so, the pocket here. Um, this one, I got it from the Graphic Fairy. So, let's see. That one can have a tuck can tuck and this one and whoops I have something in here <gasps> this one have tuck spot yeah. tuck spot and the last one is tuck spot and this one is pocket and uh, I will go find my hat pins collection and I'm gonna use it to close this as a closure uh, I think it needs something here I think I'm gonna get the book plate for here one oops, upside down to look that one not this one that one too big I think I'm gonna go with this one I have some blank journal here that I could put in. I'm not gonna make um, the folder, so just the two of them. It's pretty good already. There we go. We done with a closure. A little bit complicated closure. Push it close to the edge, and then just like that that way and then you can move it it could be anywhere could be here could be here but I actually quite like it here and happy happy I might put three um, three insert in make like a big book hold on I have one of these left in my shop <laughs> so I will
do these instead. Just make it look fuller. It look nicer that way. I'm gonna cut these and put in a switch between notes and journal. There. So that's it. We come to the finish product I mean it bent a little bit it uh, curved but over time it should be okay That's Okay, you know what, I'm gonna put this journal in my shop, um, if you like it you can purchase it, um, so the journal will be as is, nothing it will be added to, maybe it will come with um, a goodie bag like this. So. And that. Okay. The fit there. Nope. Okay, it will fit in there. Okay. So look out in my shop. I will post it. I'll try to post it. Maybe tonight. Um, once once the video up, I'll post these. Okay. There you go. Thank you all for share showing interest and want to learn this um, how to make this uh, TN and the page inside. And I hope that you will give it a try and uh, make it yourself. You know, um, if you don't like the thickness of the cereal, you can lower it down to three. But um, because of you want to make this durable, so you you make it hard, like really hard. Um, so yeah, this is it. We come to the conclusion of how to and uh, hope you will <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> okay, well, and I'm gonna s see how I can uh, share these because I don't want I don't want to post on Etsy because they charge me for the list and uh, the transaction. Even though if I say zero, they will still. Um, charge me for any transaction right so I do have our Flickr account but I don't know but uh, once I find out the way to share this file with you I will um, I will tell you in the next video where you can find this okay um, other than that thank you so much everyone um, for joining me and doing this series and uh, hope you will find it useful and adapt it to use with other journal as well okay we'll see you next video bye